CapCut editing on your desktop. Let's install the program and I'm going to show you the difference between the two versions. Um, there is a browser version and there's also the desktop app. So let's jump in. Okay, first of all, we're going to go to CapCut Tools and it's got desktop video editor and you can see here, download for free. And so you're just literally going to click on that. You can actually see up here with your downloads that you can download um, Windows Mac uh, for your computer or you can actually download the mobile version as well. Now, the wonderful thing is when you download the desktop version, you can synchronize your phone uh, videos as well. And I'll show you how to do that uh, in further videos. But for now, we're just going to download. So literally, we're going to click on here. It's going to ask you um, to download it in two steps, and then you can double click and then open the app. Now let's jump in and have a look at the two different versions here. Okay, so now you're gonna have this window that jumps open. I'm on a Mac, so it's gonna show this little icon and we're gonna download this. Now you can see here that I actually have my desktop uh, version uh, pinned to my bottom bar. So if I actually go to my launch pad, I'm gonna show you the difference between CapCut so you can see here when I type in my browser in my finder, it shows CapCut Web and CapCut. This is the browser version and this is the desktop app. So let's have a look first at the browser version. So the browser version is going to take you to your web browser and the difference between your browser and the desktop version, essentially you're going to find, and personally I generally use the desktop version um, because it has more features and can use it offline. Okay, so this is the web browser version and you know this because it's actually got that blue bar up the top here. Now, when you go into this version, you have your spaces here and your spaces are where your content is saved in the cloud. So you can on your phone, have a video, upload it to your space, and then you can actually open it up on your desktop. For now, we're going to go up and create a video. And you can see here that it lets me choose a uh, YouTube size, so 69 or a vertical video. Um, and there are other versions. Um, or you can just open a blank canvas and resize it from there. So then once you're in there, you can upload your videos from your Google Drive or your Dropbox or from your desktop. And so that's pretty much all you need to do to get started. When we come over to the desktop version, you can see it's got a black screen and the blue bar is quite small up the top here. Now, these are all my videos that I have produced um, already and that sits in my local drive here. And you can see over on the side is my spaces and that is where my other videos have been saved that have been uploaded to the cloud uh, space. All right, so we go back to home and then you click on create a project and now we are ready to make and edit our video. So what is the difference between using the browser version and the desktop version? Personally, I use the desktop version. I find it's faster and it has more advanced editing features. So to give you an example, uh, the advanced editing features include the chroma key. I've got more advanced um, editing options with keyframing um, and multi-layer editing. So you've also got more effects and filters um, that you can tap into to, and of course, color adjustments and sound adjustments as well. So on the desktop version, you can also export in 4K as well, which is a big bonus for me. The benefits of the browser version is you don't actually need to download an app. So you can just open up the uh, a new tab on your Chrome browser and start editing. But essentially, I prefer to use the desktop version because I do use a lot of the advanced features in there. All right. So if you want to know more about CapCut editing, uh, check out my playlist here and I will show you the basics of how to get started editing your videos.